Hi, I'm Mike Cave and this is your January Energy Market Update. The spot market continued to rise in January. In Queensland, this is primarily due to the substantial outages across several units at Cogan Creek, Gladstone, Calide, Swanbank e-power stations. On top of those Queensland outages, the summer heat has us all reaching for our aircon remote. Victoria had a particularly warm January, driving demand much higher than December, with overcast weather affecting solar production in the middle of the day. Dispatchable generators had to help make up the shortfall. We've all seen fuel stockpiles ramp down since the Calide incident last year, which required generators to run harder than forecast. Higher international gas, coal and oil prices have made securing additional fuel more expensive. In the contracts market, these outages in Queensland combined with a high demand caused by the mini heatwave saw the state's Q122 price rise significantly. The extension of Swanbank E's outage in particular has become a point of interest for Queensland contract price flowing through to the forward curve. New South Wales is following suit because of the interconnectivity between the states. On the other hand, Victoria's Cal23 price is trending downwards because of the high wind output and availability of traditional generators expected down south. In the environmentals market, spot LGCs and spot STCs both closed higher as buying intensified in the lead-up to the LGC21 calendar year surrender deadline and the STC Q421 surrender deadline on February the 14th. Spot ACC use continued to trade higher across the month with demand outstripping the supply of units sold in the market. And that's it. Wishing you all the best with February from the Stanmore Energy team.